All right, this is a tutorial on how to use the vinyl cutter in this program I've loaded up on my computer here called Silhouette Studio, where you actually put your images and design and send it to the vinyl cutter. So to get to Silhouette Studio, it would be on any of the Mac laptops or the iMac. You're gonna just go to the bottom here and find Silhouette Studio. It's this blue looking S and go ahead and open that up. And once that opens, this should be your screen and roughly what it'll look like. Um, some of the settings might be different from whoever used it last and whatnot, but the three, the first thing we're going to look at right here is this page setup window that should have popped up first. If it didn't or it looks different, close out anything and then go over here to panels on the top and click page setup and this will come up. So these one, two, three here, we want to make sure... Oops, air compressor. Uh, for this one, two, three, we want to make sure that it looks like this. So we want to make sure it says Cameo. We want to make sure the cutting mat is 12 inches by 12 inches. That's the mat we're going to put our vinyl on. And we want to make sure the media size is also 12 inches by 12 inches to match the cutting mat. So once you have all that done, we're going to jump over to um, the internet and find an image to use. And I'll just explain quickly kind of what images are the best and which are probably not the best to use. So if I jump over here, so I just, you know, doing something with gun violence um, and I just search gun violence and art and just to look through some of the pictures and what ones work, would work well and which wouldn't. You want to basically find something that has, you know, pretty solid, non-complicated graphics. Um, so like something like this would be great. You know, this would work perfectly. It's just text. Um, when you start getting to something like this, where you can see there's lots of little marks on it. The size is super small, so I wouldn't use it just because of that. Um, this would probably not be the best idea. If you click something like this, um, you know, it's bigger, but there's lots of small details in here that just won't come out good on the vinyl cutter. So anything hand-drawn or shaded, probably not the best idea to go with. Um, something like this, you know, could, this isn't going to come out good, this little whatever blast from the gun, you know, but this would be a good one to do. So I already found my image, but to save an image, once you open it up, hover over it, and you're gonna right click on it. So with a mouse, it would just be right click, but on all the Mac laptops, you're just gonna do two finger tap on the, key, on the trackpad. So you don't have to click it, just tap it. And you should get a menu like this. Yours probably have less options, but go and find the save image or save you know, linked file but then do save image as, and then I recommend just naming it something, you know, just so you can find it if there's other images, and then just save it to the desktop of the computer, easy to find there. So once we have that, we're gonna go back to Silhouette Studio, and then what we're gonna do is do file open, and you're gonna find that image that you just got. I'm gonna do this image, so once you click your image, hit OK, and it'll import it. So the first thing to do is to resize this. To zoom in and out, you're going to do, you can hit Command and then minus or plus. So I'm holding Command, minus, plus. I'm just going to drag this and just get it to fit within the boundaries. It doesn't need to be perfect yet. We'll change the size later. So then I'm just going to zoom back in. And so once you have your image in here, it's resized. The next step is you're gonna go back up here to panels. So panels. And then these are all different things you can do with the software. What we wanna do is trace the lines on this. So right here where it says trace, you're gonna click trace. And now you can almost think of this like step by step is um, just how you're gonna go through it. So the first part they're telling you is select trace area. And this is basically select whatever you want to get converted over. So you just drag it, highlight it all. So now that's our trace there. And you can see it just turned yellow. Wherever it's yellow, it basically is gonna trace around the yellow part of the image. When we finalize it, you'll see exactly what I mean. But if you go down to the next one, this threshold, and you start playing around with it, maybe decrease it, you can see how this SOS changed uh, to its original color. That means when it's finalized, there'll be no lines for it to cut. So this would almost be ignored by the vinyl cutter. So 
that's why I'm going to boost up the threshold. And you can see also if I go higher with the threshold, how things start really filling in. If you go too high, it just fills in everything. So I kind of want some of these little things on the letters to show up. So I kind of like it there. Really, these three settings, um, you'll don't even really need to bother with them. So once you got it looking something like that, go ahead and trace. And so then it'll be back to your original image. So click on your image and then press delete on your keyboard. And now you'll see a bunch of red lines. So this is where the vinyl cutter is going to follow and cut out my, um, my sticker heat transfer for my t-shirt, whatever I want to do. So once you have something like that, whatever your image is, you're good to go to the next part, which is clicking send up here. And this is where you'll actually control the machine to cut out your vinyl.